If you've followed U.S. politics in recent years, then you probably know everything there is to know about Ivanka Trump. But how much do you know about her daughter, Arabella? When it comes to her early education, Arabella Kushner has managed to fill plenty of time. Her mother, Ivanka Trump, encourages her to take up plenty of extracurricular activities, which include ballet and piano lessons, as well as Mandarin Chinese tutoring. Ivanka used to take piano lessons as a child, but didn't commit to it. In 2011, Donald Trump's daughter took to Facebook to share that she was starting piano lessons again after a 15-year hiatus, she posted. I'm working on my goal of learning how to play so that I can eventually teach Arabella. I like to think I'm where I need to be, and a lot of times that's with my children. It's unclear whether Ivanka then taught her daughter or if she got a teacher involved. But in 2016, she posted a video of Arabella playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the family's grand piano. During a later interview with Fit Pregnancy, Ivanka said that Arabella loves learning the instrument. Ivanka and Jared Kushner's daughter seems to enjoy her ballet lessons as well. In 2015, Arabella accompanied her mom to the Lincoln Center in New York to watch Cinderella, performed by the American Ballet Theater. She even dressed the part for the occasion, wearing sparkly flats and a pale pink dress. Ivanka has also shown off Arabella's Mandarin skills on social media. In 2016, she shared a video on Instagram of Arabella reciting Mandarin poetry in celebration of the Chinese New Year. In 2017, an excited Ivanka Trump took to X, then Twitter, to post her daughter Arabella Kushner's Student Spotlight interview. Arabella was just shy of six years old at the time, and the questionnaire included a question about her favorite holiday. Her answer, Hanukkah, because I get presents. Ivanka converted to the Jewish religion when she married her husband, Jared Kushner, in 2009, and the couple are raising their kids with the same religious beliefs. The questionnaire didn't just reveal Arabella's favorite holiday, however. It also came to light that she wanted to be a Marine when she grew up, loved Paw Patrol, and enjoyed indulging in copious amounts of ice cream. Arabella also said that if she was a bird, she would have preferred to be a jay that eats a thousand worms a day. Ivanka Trump received some criticism for sharing Arabella's quiz, with some saying it was inappropriate, given that she used that same account to promote her political agendas. Times of Israel journalist Marcy Oster wrote, Arabella may be partial to ice cream and rainbows and the Star of David, but she deserves to be treated as a real and private little girl, not a prop. When you're Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner's daughter, you can safely bet that your tour of the White House is bound to include some special VIP privileges, including meeting the vice president and chief of staff. In July 2017, Ivanka took her daughter Arabella Kushner on a trip to the White House. As Ivanka put it in a Facebook post, Arabella most enjoyed meeting then-Vice President Mike Pence and the current chief of staff. When Arabella's family first moved to Washington, D.C. after Donald Trump won the 2016 presidential election, she was just five years old. She traded in her New York City life to go live in a $5.5 million Washington mansion with Ivanka and Jared. Of course, moving to a different city isn't usually something kids enjoy, but Ivanka apparently explained the reason for the move to Arabella and her siblings in the best way she could. Their grandfather is going to Washington, D.C. with the goal of helping as many people as he possibly can. Washington might not be New York, but according to Ivanka, Arabella enjoyed some pretty cool experiences while she lived there with her parents. In February 2017, Arabella Kushner made headlines when she accompanied her mom to the Supreme Court. A court spokesperson told CNN that Ivanka Trump was there to sit in on some oral arguments, and she brought her daughter along for the experience. Arabella was five years old at the time, and Ivanka thought it important to start teaching the youngster about the country's judicial system. Arabella posed with her mom on the court's front steps for a picture, which Ivanka posted to Instagram soon after. She wrote, Arabella and me at the Supreme Court today, I'm grateful for the opportunity to teach her about the judicial system in our country firsthand. When Arabella Kushner was just six years old, she met Chinese President Xi Jinping when he paid an official visit to the U.S. in 2017. Arabella's mom, Ivanka Trump, later posted a video to X that showed Arabella and her brother Joseph Kushner singing for Xi Jinping. In the video, Ivanka and her husband Jared Kushner can be seen accompanying Arabella and Joseph to meet the president. After the official introductions were over, Arabella performed a song for the president and his wife, Madame Pang Li Yuan. Of course, Arabella's maternal grandfather Donald Trump was also in the room, and he looked on as she sang for their guests. The Chinese president and his wife appeared to be impressed with her performance. Arabella performed for Jinping once again later that year when Donald Trump made a video of her singing a popular children's song in Mandarin to take along on his trip to China. As a bonus, Arabella also recited some poems in Mandarin. 
The video quickly went viral on Chinese social media platforms, garnering millions of views, and people were impressed with the fluency of her Mandarin. Mashable went as far as to call Arabella Trump's greatest diplomat in China after the video made the rounds on the internet. Arabella Kushner appears to have one other trick up her sleeve, too. In 2017, Ivanka Trump took to X to show that she and Arabella were taking coding classes together. Ivanka has long expressed her support for women in STEM fields during her father's time in the White House. When she delivered a speech at the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum, she emphasized the importance of helping women pursue careers in STEM. In her X post, Ivanka called coding the language of the future, and it appears she's preparing Arabella to speak that language fluently. During her speech, she said, As a mom, I am trying to do my part as well. My daughter Arabella and I are enrolling in a coding class this summer. Ivanka also challenged everyone present to rise to the opportunity to bring more women into the tech industry. She added that she and Arabella were very excited to take on the challenge of coding. It's no secret that the Trump administration didn't exactly adhere to all of the CDC's guidelines regarding COVID-19. But it's something that we have uh, tremendous control of. Amid the pandemic, Donald Trump's team continued to host large gatherings with no masks in sight. This didn't sit well with some parents of the kids who were attending Milton Gottsman, the Washington, D.C. Jewish day school that Arabella Kushner and her siblings attended. Parents told the Jewish telegraphic agency that they were worried Arabella and her brothers would spread the virus to their children, since their parents weren't complying with the pandemic protocols or quarantine guidelines the school had implemented. One of these guidelines requested that parents avoid attending large gatherings to curb the spread. Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner did no such thing, and evidently the parents of Arabella's classmates weren't happy. One mother told the Jewish Telegraphic Agency, "...there was concern for the safety of children because it was very clear the Kushner parents were violating public health recommendations. At the same time of rising cases in the states and children going back to school, we were seeing the Kushners violating quarantine requirements." Arabella ended up switching schools, and she later enrolled in the Melvin J. Behrman Hebrew Academy in Maryland. Whether the switch was a direct result of the backlash is unclear. Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump's eldest kid has many sides, and as it turns out, she's even a budding equestrian. Yes, Arabella Kushner also enjoys horseback riding, and she and her mom were caught on camera riding together while they were visiting Spain in 2022. The two were photographed taking a leisurely ride along the beach, with Ivanka taking to her Instagram stories to share the moment with the rest of the world. She captioned the post, "...riding as the sun sets with Arabella." Those in the know will be aware that Arabella doesn't just ride for fun. Ivanka has previously posted pictures of her daughter doing show jumping, and Arabella was seen going for horseback riding lessons in 2022. On Arabella's 12th birthday, Ivanka took to Instagram to wish her a happy birthday and included a couple of photos of her daughter on horseback. Ivanka described her daughter as the light of their family's life and touted her kindness. She wrote, "...watching you grow into the amazing young woman you are is a true blessing." One of the images in the post showed Arabella taking part in show jumping, while another was a beautiful shot of her riding a horse bareback. When Ivanka Trump took to Instagram to celebrate Arabella Kushner's 2023 bat mitzvah, she mentioned in passing that Arabella was already involved with some philanthropic projects, claiming that she couldn't be more proud of her. Arabella has volunteered at the Jewish community service Kosher Food Bank, which provides kosher food to Jewish people in need. The organization is the only one of its kind in Miami-Dade County and supports over 400 families. Me coming in here, it gave me strength. Other organizations she supports include Whispering Mains and the Friendship Circle. The former is an organization that uses horse therapy to enhance the lives of adults and children who have disabilities and special needs. Given Arabella's fondness for horses, her support of this organization makes sense. The latter is an organization that aims to connect people with special needs so they don't remain isolated, but instead make friends with others who understand what they're going through. Considering her parents' close involvement in politics, it seems likely that Arabella will continue to support various charitable courses in the future.